Good morning and welcome back to Adventure Planet, where today I'm here at the Flamingoland Resort in Yorkshire. Yeah, it's a park that opened all the way back in 1959 and features over 50 rides and attractions. Ten of them coasters, nine of which you can ride if you're an adult. There is one uh, for children only, however. This beast behind me is one of those 10. This is sick and it is absolutely fantastic. A more modern kind of next generation version of Colossus at Thorpe Park. Now this park actually sits on about 375 acres of land. There's a zoo here featuring over 120 different species of animals. And there's also a holiday village here featuring lots of different types of accommodation, swimming pools, a leisure center, um, and lots of shows and entertainment, which is really, really good. They really do have everything everything here at this resort. Now, if you want to come down to Flamingo Land to experience the park for yourself, you're looking at entry prices of starting from around £39 if you book online at least seven days in advance. Parking is free here, which is an additional bonus. Park hours today are 10 a.m. through until 6 p.m. So let's head on in, get on some of my favorites here, report on any updates for 2023, and have an enjoyable day at the Flamingo Land Resort. Let's head on in. And here we are then, just in the very well-themed entrance to Flamingo Land then, with all the Zanzibar food markets and the Zanzi Bazaar. All your kind of shops and arcades around here. All that amongst this awesome pirate ship. Last show of the day is the pirate show, which is four o'clock. We'll try and get that in for you as well. Yeah, I love the entrance to Flamingo Land. Really is great. Treasure Hunt Derby. Of course, it is an off-peak day today. It is Monday. We're expecting it to be very quiet today. Probably not a lot of stuff is going to be open. We'll see. <laughs> it could be very much like that day at Legendia I had back in Poland. <laughs> but that's what happens. You know, it's a Monday in September. It's going to be very, very quiet. However, it would be rude not to do the 10 inversion coaster first. This is sick. Let's head on. And if you do like any of your Six Silk branded software, you can find it all in the shop here, which is cool. Yeah, some nice stuff in here. Of course, the partnership actually happened because the owner of Six Silk and the owner of Flamingo Land are best buds. Yeah, a little fun fact for you. Yeah, they've got some pretty nice stuff in here. Yeah, that's quite nice, 35 pounds, nice and colorful. Yeah, they got hoodies in here, t-shirts, trousers, sweatpants, caps. Yeah, some really nice stuff. Anyway, let's head on to sick. So not off to the best start then. Waited in the sick shop for about 15 minutes for the ride to open. Apparently it's facing technical difficulties. So I've come away from sick for now. We head over and get a ride on velocity, why not? Dead Man's Cove over there. Yeah, we'll try and get on some flats as well. We've got the Shot Tower over the back. We've got Pterodactyl, the Star Flyer. Yeah, we'll try and get on as much as we can today. Of course, again, I do want to prioritize the coasters today. Nine of them to do. Nice little Flamingo Land photo up there as well. It's sick in the background. And of course, if you stand here, you get a great view of them coming through that multi heartline roll there. Looks fantastic, especially if you've got a decent zoom on your camera. We've got Kamali, Vekoma SLC. Rides a little better than Infusion, that one. But just off to the left here, we have got Velocity, and it looks like it's a walk-on. Gotta love it. Mondays in September. had my first ride of the day then on Velocity, the Vacoma Straddle Coaster, which opened here back in 2005. Yeah, custom layout on that one. Yeah, it's short and sweet, but it really is all about that hydraulic launch. It's fantastic. It's got a great kick to it, up to 54 miles an hour. 
absolutely love that ride. It is a classic. Good news is though, Sick is back open. So let's head back over to there and see if we can get luckier this time. Oh, and here we go then. Music's blaring. And I'll tell you what, there's some great photo opportunities to get of Sick from the queue line here. Absolutely fantastic. Obviously the quad heart line roll through here. Cobra roll in the back as well. Oh, what a great ride. Let's get on. Oh, this station is absolutely awesome. Music blaring out, you got the flags, the lighting. Oh, it's a spectacle in here. Oh, what an absolutely great station. No messing about on sick. The cable lift hill gets you to the top really quick. Much more efficient than the chain versions. And here we go. Only a lap bar of straight. Misters weren't working, but that is such a re-rideable ride. Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. Hey. <laughs> and just got off my ride on sick then, and look, what can I say? It's an absolutely incredible ride. It really is phenomenal. I mean, comparing it to something like obviously its closest competitor, which would be Colossus at Thorpe Park. It's, it's night and day. This is such a re-rideable ride. And you know what? The best thing that makes it is that lap bar. You're so free and going through that quad heartline roll oh, is just incredible. Don't hold on, hands in the air going through that. And it's a feeling like you just will never get anywhere else. The cable lift hill, really nice and efficient, getting you to the top really, really quickly. And the rest of the layout is just fantastic. Like I say, so re-rideable. Shane the misters weren't working. I'm heading straight back round, getting another ride and obviously there'll be some 4K footage coming up on the channel real soon as well from the front row, so stay tuned for that. Oh, what a ride, what a masterpiece. And I have just had multiple re-rides on sick then, including a front row and a back row. And I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost lost for words for that ride. Do you know what, that ride, I'm, I'm actually kind of unsure whether that rides higher than Icon for me uh, in top coasters of the UK. It definitely pushes the swarm at Thorpe Park into third place. It is absolutely phenomenal. 
some good grey out actually as well on that back row um, going into that vertical loop and then kind of into the Cobra roll. Yeah, really quite forceful. And those lap bars, oh, they really, really make it such a re-rideable ride, really smooth. I absolutely love it. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I tell you, I'm still absolutely blown away by Sick. What an absolutely incredible coaster. One of the flat rides here on the park though is Navigator. This is a 2005 Zamperla Mega Disco. It's a world first. Yeah, it looks pretty huge. Nice if it's a little bit more themed up though. Not too much going on here. It doesn't look too bad. But yeah, a little bit of extra theming would look nice on there considering it's a world first. Oh, sick and velocity. Two fantastic coasters. Yeah, look how quiet the park is though. Really, really is quiet here. There's Vortex, little rocking tug just off to the left. But from one absolutely incredible coaster to one forged in the depths of hell. <laughs> it's Hero, the 2013 Zamperla Valair. And yeah, I don't, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this isn't gonna be as bad as Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I'm pretty certain of that, however, Hey, <laughs> this is a painful coaster, not comfortable at all. But let's get on. We're going to do all the coasters today. Let's get one ride on Hero. And someone is clearly smiling down on me today as Hero has just gone down. <laughs> hey, anyway, we're going to head over to Mumbo Jumbo now. This SNS El Loco model, which opened back in 2009, actually opened as the steepest coaster in the world with a 112 degree first drop. And it is still the steepest in the UK. We're going to get on this now and then we'll head back over and check on Hero a little bit later on. And here we are at Mumbo Jumbo then with a complete walk on. Love the signage. Seat back and hold on tight. <laughs> and here we go on Mumbo Jumbo. Held the steepest drop record at 112 feet, and here we go. <laughs> oh, the banking on this is insane. <laughs> wow, great to all into the dime wave, nice. It's a great ride this, opened in 2009. Here we go. Way. <laughs> then into the rake run. Great ride.
and some on-ride footage there of Mumbo Jumbo. And yeah, I really do like that ride. There's a couple of the corners that could potentially do with being reprofiled, but otherwise it's great. Love the banking on there. That stall into kind of the dive loop is great as well. Absolute banger. Really, really good ride. I'm not so sure with the restraints. Um, they're kind of these weird, you have a lap bar and like these weird mini over the shoulder restraints, which are a little bit strange. Kind of feel like perhaps you could get rid of those. That would make for a much freer ride and a much better experience in my opinion. However, I can't see that happening at any point in the near future. Yeah, solid ride that. Anyway, going to head over to Cliffhanger now then, do a flat and see if we can get some good views of the surrounding area. And I've just come over to the SNS Shot Tower cliffhanger then. Unfortunately, it has just pretty much gone down. They've just put these signs out here. It is suffering some technical issues, which is a little bit of a shame. Yeah, it offers some great views over the park. This is about 180 feet in height. Yeah, some pretty good force to it as well. We'll see if this opens up again a little bit later on in the day. If not, we'll have to give it a miss this time. just had my ride on Hero then and yeah like Velocity you can't really film on ride on those because of uh, the seating position and yeah you know Hero it is a little bit of a brutal ride uh, you know those, those <laughs> the heartline rolls are pretty savage and going into the corners it does throw you about but having said that not as uncomfortable as back row on the Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, nowhere even close. So yeah, although it is not a comfortable ride, it's still okay, it's bearable in my opinion. And if you come to Flamingoland, you do have to do it at least once. Anyway, I've come over to the little runaway mine train here now then. This opened in 2007 from Zamperla and was actually located over where Sick is now. So this was relocated and reopened in 2020. Just a little family coaster this one, but we'll take you on for the Ride. and legs inside the carriage oh here we go on the runaway mine train then <laughs> hey. i'm the only one on front row hey. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, it's nice and jolty <laughs> question is is it a two-lap special hey oh it is Two laps. Oh. This is a great little area, this. We've also got Dino Roller here as well. Hey, and Go Gator. Oh, Go Gator being the one. Hey, you have to be a child to ride. Oh, my life. Hey. And there we are, runaway mine train. And some on-ride footage there of the runaway mine train then. Yeah, and it's a great area, this. Dino Stone Park, you've got the pterodactyl here, which is the Star Flyer. Got Rotator here as well. It's a great looking big wheel with all the little wagons there. And as mentioned, we've also got Dino Roller. Hey, <laughs> you gotta love the smaller coasters. Let's hop on. Oh, and here we go then. Waited a little bit for the rain to stop. And we just got a little bit of a break in the clouds. Yeah, the storm's starting to roll in. 
a zoom over there, which we'll be getting on after this. Little suspended family coaster. Yeah, we may as well do all of them while we're here. Hey, here we go again. Second and final lap. Hey. No, we're getting a third. <laughs> well, here we are. How you doing? All right. How are we? Got to get a front row. Only one riding this. Our oh, rotator does look great. Really well themed. You got the Dino Stone Games just off to the left there as well. That's closed for today. <laughs> oh my god, we're going around for a fourth. Oh, well, I guess I'll see you when we come off. <laughs> and some on-ride footage there then of Dino Roller, the Super Nessie family, co family coaster. Opened in 1988 this one and was known as Dino Coaster through until 2012, until it changed its name. <laughs> Great little family coaster that one. And it looks the part as well. Love the Zero car. We're going to head over to the third of the family coasters now and get a ride on Zoom. And had four laps in the end then on Dino Roller, the little Zamperla family coaster. And just across the pathway, we've got another Zamperla family coaster. This one, a suspended one. This is Zoom, opened here in 2011. Yeah, nice little ride this. Let's hop on. Oh, I love all the theming for Zoom around here. And yeah, look at the train. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, nice little ride this. What's not so great though, is that that does not look good. Some pretty uh, heavy storm clouds heading our way, so we might have to duck and cover pretty soon. Let's get a ride on Zoom first. And here we go on Zoom, just before the heavens open, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully we've just missed it. It is spinning a little bit, but as long as it doesn't absolutely empty down, I'm happy. <laughs> Good views of the runaway mine train from up here. Hey, there it is. And here we go on Zoom. Hey! Oh yeah, some little flat rides for the kids in this area as well. As you can see there. That's a nice little suspended family coaster there. It's like I say, opened in 2011. Hey! And I'm pretty sure it's just the one lap on this one. And there you go, a zoom. And we did get a second lap on zoom, which was nice. Yeah, nice little suspended family coaster that. Unfortunately, just after I got off, it absolutely hammered down. I'm actually surprised that Pterodactyl is still running, to be honest, because it's really quite breezy as well as some strong gusts. But uh, we'll leave that area for now, and we'll head on over to the aptly named Splosh area. Suits the weather. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of kind of splash battles here, little splash play areas as well. You've also got flip-flop here just off to the left. Yeah, weather has taken a turn for the worse today. Yeah, the splash battle here looks quite nicely themed. Love the big submarine type uh, structure there, or the periscopes. <laughs> Yeah, certainly not going to be getting anyone on that today. Yeah, it's a very, very quiet day here at Flamingo Land. They had 2,000 people reserving online yesterday. Today, 180. <laughs> it's incredibly quiet. But just off to the right, though, we have the Vacoma SLC Kumali. And that'll be our next stop. Yeah, the little splash areas in this splosh-themed area are actually quite good, though. Little palm trees here, little coconuts on the top. Yeah, on a summer's day, 
This would look really, really nice, and I'm sure it's really refreshing. The big palm trees around here as well, all the little water jets, with Kamali in the background, which looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, you've got these slightly bigger palm trees here, all these water fountains, great theming piece in the middle here with the pirate ship. <laughs> and I've just stood here getting absolutely drenched, but hey, <laughs> doing what I love, right? Yeah, this is all great here. And flip-flop, which, uh, yeah, is a Fabry gyro swing. Yeah, really nice area for the summer, not for a day like today, that's for sure. And for lunch then, I've gone for the grilled chicken burger with fries. This was £11.95 in the American-style diner just next to Hero. And it is pretty tasty. Look at this. Looks great. I love the little American flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you get for going on Kumali after the rain. <laughs> I just got absolutely soaked. <laughs> Never knew Kumali was a good 5 out of 10 soaker. <laughs> anyway, here we are on the Vekoma SLC. Great ride, this. 118 feet high. Oh, wow, it's still coming. <laughs> Please stop. I'm getting absolutely drenched. Oh, it's a fantastic SLC this, much better than Infusion at Blackpool, but not quite as good as the Odyssey. Oh, this water, stop, please. <laughs> we'll have some front row 4K footage coming up on the channel very soon. But for now, let's ride Kamali. Four inversions, here we go. Whoa! into the brake run. Oh, wow. Kumali, the new water ride at Flamingoland. <laughs> and just have my ride on Kumali then, the Vekoma SLC here at Flamingoland. And yeah, it's a good ride that. I do really enjoy it. Four inversions, 118 feet, 55 miles an hour. That first drop is the star of the show. That really is awesome. And yes, it is a little bit of a headbanger, but it's not kind of infusion levels of comfort. It rides a lot better than that, in my opinion. Great ride if you're coming down to the park. Hey, here you go. Flamingo Land Railway. We've also got Voodoo here as well. Nicely themed up pirate ship. Nice themed audio playing in this area as well. Yeah, love this. Really nice bits of theming on here. Hey. <laughs> and also in this area, you have the Lost River Ride. Although with a day like today, yeah, this certainly is not very popular. Uh, no queue at all. As a matter of fact, I've not seen this going at any point throughout today. So, uh, yeah, I think people are giving this one a miss. Interesting to note that, yeah, the theming at the top here seems to be missing its roof. Not quite sure what's going on there, whether they've removed that for some kind of maintenance issues or, or what. I don't know. I don't know if it's getting put back on at some point or whether they'll just leave it like that. But, yeah, it looks a little bit strange at the moment. And as mentioned in the intro, Flamingoland is also home to a zoo. We've got the giraffes here. Like I say, 120 different species of animal actually reside here. They do actually have animal shows as well, including a bird show and a sea lion show, if you ever want to watch those. The park actually got its name when a colony of flamingos were actually the first animals to be housed on this site. Previously, it was actually called the Yorkshire Zoological Gardens. And yeah. 
There's the giraffes fighting over a bit of twig. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the other animals today um, seem to be hiding in their habitats or have actually been locked away due to that real heavy rainstorm we had earlier. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame really. It's, uh, it took a good almost two hours out of the day. Um, yeah, has caused the day to be a little bit of a washout, which is a shame. And as you can see, it's all very quiet around here. I mean, the park wasn't full to begin with, nowhere near. And that rainstorm we had earlier really has just petered the park out pretty much completely. But yeah, it's a great area to walk around this through here. I think we have the cheetahs. Let's see if they're out. Northern East African cheetah here. We got the jeep as well. Nice bit of theming. Ah, there they are. Just over on the rocks there. And of course we have Pterodactyl that's still operating. 151 foot star flyer. We'll get some views of the park on that instead of cliffhanger. Yeah, and what's really nice about the Lost River ride is it does actually all come through the zoological part of the resort here. You've got the zebras over the back here. And yeah, it does all flow through all this area here. You've got a little uh, birdhouse here as well that comes around here. Really is a nice relaxing ride. You just get six, seven out of ten soaked at the end. <laughs> And just to give you a little look at Go Gator then, this is the coaster of Flamingo Land that is strictly for children. This opened at some point in the 80s, not so sure when. But yeah, if you've got little kids, they'll be fine on this one, but this is not for adults. What is good enough for adults though is Twistosaurus, little Zamperla spinning coaster which opened back in 2013. Yeah, and there's a record outside the front that uh, pretty much confirms that. Oldest person to have rode it, Jack Reynolds. Born in 1912, rode Twistosaurus, age 105 years old, <laughs> back in 2017. Well, there you go. I'm sure we'll be fine on this one then. Let's jump on. And here we go on Twistosaurus. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do all coasters as an enthusiast, right? Not just the big ones. Love a good little spinning coaster as well. This one's nicely well themed. <laughs> Some kind of wild mouse sections to it here. And here we go. And down the helix. <laughs> Two lap special this one as well. Hey! <laughs> uh, it's been a great day though today. Do love Flamingo Land. Just a little bit of a shame about the weather. It's kind of made things pretty rushed today. Even though it has been such a quiet day, it took quite a chunk out. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame, but you know, it is what it is. We've still had fun today. Oh, oh wow. Way. <laughs> hey, where's my spin? Come on. <laughs> and down the helix. Oh, no spin at all. Oh, that lap was disappointing. And there we are, Twistosaurus. They got Cyclosaur here as well, which is a nice little flat ride for the younger generation. Yeah, love these. Love the old propellers on the backs. Hey. <laughs> And then we've got the dino dig area just off to the right here, but we're going to head on to Pterodactyl, which is a Soriani star flyer, this one. Who remembers when Top Gun used to be in this area? Yeah, Top Gun was an old Intamin flight trainer ride. Really unique ride that, only rode one of them, and that was at Knott's Berry Farm back in 1992. I believe it was called XK1 or something at the time. Yeah, great rides those. Shame they're no longer with us. 
But yeah, seeing as Cliffhanger is out of action, let's get on the Star Flyer instead for some views of the park. And we're about to take flight on Pterodactyl then. Yeah, offers some good views of the park this, certainly over the zoo and the surrounding areas. Oh, sick looks great. Such a great coaster that. Yay! Oh, it's cold. <laughs> That is cold. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm not quite sure how much you're going to hear. There's a strong wind up here. It's only 151 feet, but oh. it's enough. <laughs> It's enough for a biting cold wind. Hey, of course, we'll be back in Orlando at the end of October for Halloween. Where I look forward to getting back on the Orlando Star Flyer at Icon Park. Oh, that takes your breath. <laughs> all the accommodation they have here at Holiday Village with all the caravans in the distance uh, it really is set in a beautiful location Flamingo Land Yorkshire is absolutely gorgeous As you can see, most of the animals today, I think, are taking shelter due to the storms we've had today. And there we go, not a bad cycle on that. Great ride to really appreciate the views of the park. And the good news is, cliffhangers back open, so let's make this the last ride of the day. Let's squeeze it on before park close. And here we go on a ride on Cliffhanger. Getting shot up to 180 feet. It's quite a tall one, this. And here we go. Whoa. but it's good enough. And a nice little pleasant bounce to finish. Ah, oh, it's been a great day here today. Beautiful park, this. And there we are, Cliffhanger. And with that final ride on Cliffhanger then, that is going to bring my vlog here at Flamingo Land Resort to a close. And look, it's been a great day here today. Yes, we have been unlucky with the weather. Um, it's been a bit of a washout, took out a big chunk out of the day, and it meant that some of the rides closed and a lot of the shows here were actually cancelled. So in terms of content for this vlog, I feel like I haven't recorded as much as I could have done on a much better day. But unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, 
Uh, but it's been great to get back here. We got on all nine of the coasters that we were able to ride, including Sick. First time riding that, and I gotta say, what a phenomenal coaster. It is truly, truly outstanding. I still haven't decided quite whether it sits just above Icon or just below it. It's tough, but it's up there. That is how good it is. Absolutely amazing. It's also been great to get back on, of course, Velocity as well, Mumbo Jumbo, Kumali, and uh, uh, Hero. Yeah, you know, we do that you do that once when you come here. That's, that's, that's fair enough. That's, that's, that's about enough. Um, also, some of the flats here as well, like Pterodactyl and Cliff hanger and some of the junior coasters as well which yes okay they don't pack a punch like their bigger brethren but they're still fun to do food here as well really tasty well priced at the american diner that chicken burger really really did enjoy that and it's been a great atmosphere today the staff here are really friendly and i've met some fantastic people today so thank you to those who actually stopped and took the time to talk to me um, in terms of negatives not really much to talk about, uh, to be honest. I mean, operations on Kumali were a little bit hit and miss. Um, Sick was down for the first 25 minutes of the day, but that soon uh, got back up and running, which was good. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell really on on days like you know Mondays in September where it really is quiet. It's hard to kind of really judge the operations. A lot of the rides here have minimum capacity limits, um, so you do find yourself kind of waiting sometimes for them to actually fill the ride up in order for them to dispatch it out of the station. So that's the, that's kind of a little bit of a problem of coming on very very quiet days. Um, other than that though, um, not really any negatives today to speak of. Um, it's just a shame um, that you know shows were cancelled, some of the rides closed and stuff, but that's not the fault of the park. It's mother nature and it just happens sometimes, you know. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. Absolutely enjoyed my day here though. It's been brilliant. And that's it from Flamingo Land. Coming up on the channel though, soon we're into our run of the Halloween events, starting at Legoland Windsor with their brick or treat event. Yeah, they always put on a good show for Halloween, so looking forward to getting back and seeing that and then of course we have Fright Nights at Thorpe Park and then Halloween at Chessington's World of Adventures then of course we're over into the United States of America Orlando Florida for their Halloween celebrations at SeaWorld and Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights that's all coming up really really soon right here on Adventure Planet but from here at the Flamingo Land Resort I want to thank you so much for watching and as always happy riding everybody